Hi guys, welcome back to another FSD 12.3.6 video. I am going to be going to a location nearby and we'll see if anything comes up that we have to worry about. So far my observations on 12.3.6 are like, you know, it's really smooth, works well uh, as long as you're paying attention. And on the stop sign, it's taking a little bit time. As you can see, I am at the stop sign. It's moving forward slowly and you know there's no traffic coming from either side it's still taking its time so i think this can uh, be a thing that they can improve in the version 12.4 but uh, you know i'm gonna give you my updates and commentary as we move along and feel free to provide your feedback in the comment section down below i'm generally like uh, replying uh, to the comments uh, in real time but uh, you know a lot of uh, interesting things came up during your commentary in my previous videos so keep it coming and uh, let's have a healthy discussion on this as well so we're gonna go up ahead and make a right from there we'll also notice uh, how many times I have to intervene in any of these uh, you know drives so these are some of the things that I also keep a check of as you can see we're approaching the red light and we can make a right from here so let's see how FST is going to tackle this we are at a fair distance from the curb I also keep an eye on the cameras so it's uh, still taking its time because the car is coming but like it did make the turn without any problems and now it's picking up the speed if you are uh, trying to wonder what my settings are uh, I am on assertive settings which is the most aggressive setting for the um, full self-driving and um, even my automatic speed offset is on auto so on means um, it's gonna pick up the speed based on what it thinks um, is most appropriate and natural right so you will see like sometime it's gonna go a little bit over the speed limit just because it's going with the flow of the traffic and stuff now but i haven't seen it going excessively over the speed limit as well so that's one thing to keep in mind turns are very natural as you can notice you know it's not like um, struggling to make those turns very smooth and i've been using fst for my daily drives uh, whenever I'm going to work or like going to the gym picking up the kids or like doing anything else uh, this has become one of the things that I use on daily basis hence I am providing you my feedback as well whether you know I think it's a technology that can be 100% relied upon or not as well so from that point of view right um, you know I do encourage you to try it out before um, you know listening to the feedback on the internet I know there are a lot of negative comments about FST as well um, but you know I tell you like if you use it every day when you get comfortable you you are paying attention to the road as well while you're driving this is going to become a really really useful tool for your long drives or daily commutes so we are approaching a red light as you can see and we're gonna stop behind this car there's a fair distance between our car and the car up front so I'm taking a little bit of a different uh, route as well today so you know we'll see how this is gonna plan out also guys I'm thinking about getting a custom license plate for my Model S Plaid I would love to see your creative suggestions and thoughts so please leave me a comment in the comment section down below what do you think I should go for I can only have like I think seven digits can be alphabets or numbers so or a mix of both so I want to hear from you guys let me know what you guys think The weather is great here today uh, in Jersey 78 degrees today so 
so this is going to start i think 25 school zone i think when it's flashing only so it's not flashing right now we are going at 30 if you're wondering why i'm doing this or scrolling the wheel it's mainly because like if you get a nag on the wheel to touch the yoke you can instead of doing this you can just do this one of you guys have mentioned that in one of my video comments so really appreciate that i did not know about this this is another thing i want to see what happens like there's a box here right so there's a cross you're not supposed to go in this box as this car is doing right now i don't think that's allowed so let's see how fst is going to tackle this right now if the traffic is moving which is fine if it's if it's stopped traffic it should have stopped here but uh we couldn't test it because the traffic is moving but i'll keep an eye out on this lot of like scenarios which i never paid attention before but i i am like looking at everything since i'm using the fst uh on my daily drives right so it is like fascinating like things become our second nature when we're driving and we we don't pay attention to some of these minute details and all of these things are coming back up when we are using the fst now uh, i really appreciate the technology and like you know how much data it's processing in real time to make it work so it's really really a great tool uh, which we we can use on our daily drives almost touching 4500 miles on this car i got it uh with 10 miles when i picked it up from the dealership brand new just waiting for the weather to get a little bit better i want to do a full-on outdoor kind of review for this car so i want to give you my honest update what i like what i don't like uh, after six months of use so we are in the 25 speed limit uh, zone and if I'm looking at my speed we are going at 34 so we are nine miles over the speed limit for now let's see And again, as I said, like, you know, your automatic speed offset when it's on, it's going to determine what is the natural uh, speed that you should be going at. So it's just going at 34, which 35 now. I think it's uh, sensing other cars behind me and in front of me as well, who are following the similar kind of speed. But this is technically a 25 speed limit zone. Uh, I'm not sure why it's going at 35 so anybody in the comment section enlighten me why is it doing that right I know some of you have experienced with this thing more than I have so I would be happy to learn from you guys as well there's a cop car right here too oh no it's not a cop car I thought it was a cop Uh, roundabout coming actually we have to go around it so let's see how F50 is gonna tackle this I am just so fascinated with the amount of data you see this person is walking and I can see this person walking here in real time as well it's just crazy 
what your car is seeing and how much data is being processed in real time. Oh, there's a Fisker Ocean right there. Take the third exit. I don't know if you guys can see it in the camera, but maybe I can start uh, making these videos with like two cameras. So you guys have a better view of what, uh, you know, the other angles are looking like as well. I do have other GoPros as well, which I can put, but uh, I just need another mount, a suction cup. Okay, so we are stopping. And the ho guy honked behind me. FSG was taking a little bit of uh, time here but the overall turn was fine again the thing that I noticed here again you might have noticed too there was no traffic it was clear path to go but it was taking its time right so something that needs to be uh, addressed in the next version of FSG I would say And there's no pothole detection. I mentioned that in every single video that I make. You know, if you use FSD without paying attention um, and not take over when you are nearing a pothole, this thing is gonna go over it and you will end up destroying your tires. So we have a tight turn coming up let's see how this is gonna take that okay moving forward not sure why we are stopping not sure the lady behind me is really getting mad I would be mad too so there are a few things that we noticed today so far too long of a stop for a few times and then it stopped uh, right after that light for no reason people behind you were getting annoyed as you have seen now turn right turning is fine no issues with that there you have it guys I put the direction for this place so we are almost here uh, yeah so as you've noticed like there are still some things that need to be addressed with the uh, FST right these slow stops or like you know taking too much time on uh, on the stop signs it's something that need to be addressed you know it's not natural like uh, when somebody someone uh, somebody's driving by themselves or human is driving I would say they're not gonna be taking that much time or like not gonna be stopping on uh, the stop signs for that long so you know I think something needs to be addressed on that front and I've noticed like uh, on the stop light too it it took like a little bit of time and when it should not have stopped uh, at all it should have moved forward it didn't so that's something also which I'm keeping an eye out for these are some of the minor things which are still bothering me when I'm using the FSD on daily basis so something to think about and also just showing you as I see these things um, I'm not against or for the technology I'm just showing it to you as 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 I see these things 
so please consider subscribing if you like the fst videos and you want to see more of this kind of content i'll be i'll be making more of these videos and documenting my journeys with my real-time feedback as well on that note guys stay safe goodbye and i'll see you in the next one